This video will demonstrate the gameplay and mechanics of Galactic Escape, a game created for research on adaptive music. The gameplay loop in Galactic Escape is similar to the loop in gambling games like Craps and Roulette. It is also inspired by John Harper's Blades in the Dark and other tabletop games. The player begins the loop by selecting a point on the map. Each point includes a challenge that addresses an attribute. The player is not aware and does not need to be aware of these attributes. Once the player has selected the next challenge, the game plays a short animation. The player now selects the level of risk and reward that they are willing to wager on clearing the challenge. The options are color-coded by the risk and reward level. Green is low risk reward, yellow is medium risk reward, and red is high risk reward. As in many chance-based games, the player controls the ramifications of their actions, but has no control over whether their actions are successful. The game determines whether the player has succeeded, partially succeeded, or failed the challenge. Once the game has determined the success of the action, the result is calculated based on the game's determination of success and the player's wager. After the result of the challenge is calculated, the player must wait while the action completes. The time that the action takes to complete is determined by the risk-reward level, with riskier options taking less time. As the player continues through the map in this fashion, they are pursued by an enemy. If the enemy catches the player, the player loses the game. If the player reaches the final challenge, the player wins the game. This completes the basic gameplay loop of Galactic Escape. Now, let's look at the mechanical underpinnings. While the gameplay of Galactic Escape is designed to be easily understood and playable by non-experts, the mechanical underpinnings are far more complex. The player character has four hidden attributes, shields, engines, sensors, and weapons. These attributes have two primary in-game ramifications. The first ramification of these attributes is that the flavor text that accompanies each challenge is altered to fit the challenged attribute. The second ramification is that the split of the challenges between four attributes lessens the impact of each player wager, as rewards and consequences are distributed between the attributes. Each attribute begins at level 2 and cannot be reduced below 0. To determine the success of a challenge, the game rolls a number of six-sided dice equal to the level of the attribute that the challenge addresses. The game takes the highest shown die as the roll result. If the roll is a 1, 2, or 3, the roll has failed and the player suffers a negative consequence and must repeat the challenge. If the roll is a 4 or 5, the player has partially succeeded, may continue on, but suffers a negative consequence. If the roll is a 6, the player has succeeded in the challenge, may continue, and is given a reward. If the challenged attribute is at zero, the game instead rolls two six-sided dice and takes the lowest shown result. The consequences and rewards are determined by a combination of the roll result and the player's wager. On a green choice, there are no rewards or consequences for success or failure, though a partial success does take an additional 2.5 seconds to complete. On a yellow choice, the consequences affect the next roll. With a partial success or failure, the next roll will use one less die. With a full success, the next roll will use one more die. In tabletop parlance, this is a plus one forwards. On a red choice, the consequences are permanent. With a partial success or a failure, the challenged attribute will be decreased by one. With a success, the attribute will be increased by one. In tabletop parlance, this is a plus one ongoing. The risks and rewards for each wager are also balanced out by the time that each option takes to complete. 
Regardless of the outcome of the roll, completing each challenge takes an amount of time to complete. The amount of time that the challenge takes is based on the player's wager. The green option takes 5 seconds to complete, yellow 3.5, and the red option takes 2.5 seconds to complete. The timing of these choices is balanced to ensure that the player must engage in riskier wagers to win the game. For the following numbers, we assume that each attribute maintains a level of 2, with the average time to complete the animation to get to a challenge, the average time that it takes a person to read the text and choose their wager, and the average time that each wager takes, factoring in additional time to account for the statistically likely number of failures, the green choice takes 14.75 seconds per challenge, the yellow takes 12.875 seconds, and the red takes 11.625 seconds. For comparison, if each attribute is maintained at level 1, these numbers are 16 seconds for green, 13.75 seconds for yellow, and 12.25 seconds for red. What this timing means is that if a player selects only the safer green wagers, the enemy will catch up to them by the end of the sixth challenge. The player must complete 11 challenges to win the game. If the player selects only the slightly risky yellow options and receives no negative consequences, they will win the game with 1.25 seconds to spare. However, if they suffer one negative consequence at any point, they will instead lose the game selecting only yellow wagers. This means that the player must select at least one red wager and several yellow wagers if they want to win. Because of the higher risk level and the increase in tempo that comes from a lower completion time, this creates a feeling of rising tension.